Hello out there, YouTube. What's going on, guys? It is D Dunn here, the most chill COD player, bringing you the Black Ops 2 commentary. And once again, the baby is with me, right beside me. She very well makes squawk and squeak, and you may hear her. So uh, just consider that uh, her input uh, on this commentary. Um, I'm sure she has a lot to say, so listen closely. But anyway, <coughs> let's. Let's get into the gameplay here. Um, this is a 77, I think, to 5, something like that. Um, 66 domination on the map. Uh, it's way too big, um, aka Turbine, I think. Um, this map, um, okay, so you know how they don't allow certain maps for ground war because they're too small? Um, I really wish they would cut out some maps um, in 66 because they're too big. Um, you know, I think this game uh, wouldn't hurt at all um, for having specifically 6v6 maps and specifically um, ground war maps and um, yeah so anyway this maps a little too big but uh, still pull out a decent score um, you know I'm rocking the uh, Lodestar dogs and swarm um, in hindsight I probably sw should have switched to Lodestar VTOL warship and swarm but you know, still 77 to 5 is not a bad score line, especially in 6v6. Um, let's go over my setup. I'm using Ghost and Hardline uh, with Scavenger and Dexterity. Um, and then I have the MTAR, obviously, with uh, Fast Mags and Stock. So unsilenced in this gameplay. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> and then I'm rocking the, uh, the C4 and the B23R secondary insta-kill pistol. Um, I do cap quite a few flags in this game so I hope you can appreciate that but uh, that's not really what I want to talk about. Uh, this is not going to be about the gameplay. This is however Call of Duty related as you've just watched me start off the game by going like by rocking up three of my five deaths so far. So anyway um, let's talk about the patch. The update. Um, all right, in case you missed it, let me see if I can remember everything. I don't have the notes in front of me, so I'm just going to have to wing it. Um, let's see. They nerfed the PDW and the MSMC. They added more recoil and increased the hipfire spread. I don't think those are bad ideas. Um, I think it would have been really bad if they had reduced the range even more, but they didn't. So, um, you know, I think it's okay. I really, really do. Um, you know... I know definitely I'm probably one of maybe five YouTubers in the Call of Duty YouTube community who don't really mind this this uh, this patch very much. Um, the reason for that simply is just because, you know, I don't... I mean, one, I've been trying my best not to use any SMGs as of late, and I haven't. Um, and then uh, also, you know, uh, as long as they don't mess with the uh, range anymore, I don't think that the SMGs really suffer... Um, you know, if you take off a silencer, the SMGs are in, like ungodly good. Um, you know, but the downside to that is that you're risking, uh, showing up on the mini map. And when you play against non retarded players, um, who do know what the mini map is, hold on, watch, I'm pretty sure I'm going to whip out the sniper here. Oh, yeah, for the load start. I was pretty happy with that kill. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, um, the only thing is, you know, if you want to risk not running a silencer, uh, it can be done. Obviously, I'm not running a silencer in this game, and I do fairly well. Um, but if you are playing against pretty good people, with which with skill-based skill matchmaking, most of the time... Uh, most of the time, you aren't running against retards, and they will know where you are, and most likely you will die because you're not using a silencer, um, especially on small maps. Large maps is not too, too bad. Um, you may get flanked from the side or from behind, um, but overall, um, you know, a silencer is the better choice, but, uh, you know, there's always a counter, and, you know, you throw on the counter UAV or the EMP, and you shouldn't really have too many problems. So, you know, I, you got to take it with a grain of salt. I mean, it is just a video game. You can't really get too set up about, too upset about it. Um, 
So whatever, I don't mind that. Let's see what else they do. Uh, they buff the scar. They buff the damage to that. Um, I played a few rounds with it. I mean, I already had it leveled out. So, you know, I decided I'll give it a shot again. Um, yeah, I mean, it's still really powerful. It's got really, really good range. Um, slow fire rate, of course. Um, I'm sure you guys already knew that. So, you know, it's a pretty good assault rifle. Um, it does have a fair bit of recoil, though. Uh, way more than, say, the MTAR or the uh, M14. I don't know what it's called. The the really poopy one. Um, you know, that has no recoil. The Type 25 has no recoil. So, I mean, I, I prefer the AN94 or the MTAR. I think if they really wanted to uh, make the SCAR more competitive, they should just reduce the recoil a little bit. Just my opinion. Um, and then, let's see, they buffed the QBB LSW. I think that's what it's called. Uh, they add a little bit more power, I think, to it. You know, not bad. For the LMG category, it is really underpowered. Um, you know, it has, I mean, the SCAR, for instance, has more uh, range on its three hit kill. So, you know, it's not a bad idea to increase it. Um, you know, I still don't think it's overpowered by any means. I really don't think any guns in Black Ops 2 are overpowered. I know a lot of people say that LMGs are overpowered, but you do have a really, really slow. Um, mobility and a really slow ADS so it kind of counters each other um, what else um, I think they they did some other stuff some uh, what do you call it um, some stuff with the spawns now I mean I mean I they said they improved the spawn logic so that it uh, won't spawn you near danger I don't really know exactly what that means I don't know if that means that they won't spawn you near people but um, I did uh, I did play some kill confirmed and domination and I found the spawns to be uh, pretty much about the same so you know I, I don't really see much there I think the spawns could use a little bit more tweaking um, especially on really small maps like excuse me like uh, hijacked and standoff I know in domination especially you can get spawned on really really easily and, uh, you know, eh, I really wish, I am I mean, if I remember right, in uh, the first Black Ops, you could pretty much flip the spawns by yourself. And uh, in this game, you have to kill a lot of people in a row, it feels like, before the spawns uh, finally do switch. So, um, you know, I applaud Treyarch for kind of recognizing that. I think that is a, you know, I wouldn't say it's like a, you know, a, a game-breaking problem. But it would be nice if they fixed, tweaked it maybe a little bit more. Um, of course, they didn't really do anything, uh, at least that they mentioned, in regards to the connection issues. Um, you know, that may just be Black Ops, you know, itself. Trailer games have always had a little bit of weird lag. And, you know, I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about lag and lag compensation and all that. You know, I don't want to bitch about it all the time, but um, I do wish they would do something, um, or at least acknowledge the fact that there are some uh, connection issues in this game. I mean,. Yeah, it happens to everyone, but, uh, you know, it's still frustrating. You know, if people spend 60 bucks or so for this game, you know, they shell out money for map packs and, you know, the new uh, camos and all that stupid shit, you know, then uh, they deserve to have a game that runs uh, as smooth as possible, which this game obviously doesn't. So I do I do wish that they would, uh, <coughs> if they would uh, try and do something. I'm sure it's not easy, and I'm sure it would take a while, but... Either way, uh, you know, I think they should at least try. Um, I know Modern Warfare 3 did it towards the end of its lifespan, and I definitely noticed the difference. Um, so I know it can be done, and I, I hope they do do something to it. But uh, anyway, that's my thoughts on the patch, guys. You know, if you guys have anything to add, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Like the video if you did uh, like my uh, nice, chill, calming, soothe thoughts. Leave a like for the baby squawking in the background. I know she loves to see likes. I'm just messing with you guys. I only like it if you really liked it. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching, and I will see y'all next video. Bye.